what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today we have a question that a small disk of mass 100 gram is placed on a large horizontal floor lubricated with oil force of viscous drag due to layer of lubricating oil is given by okay and v is the velocity vector of the disk k is a constant if a force of constant magnitude capital f that is 0 0.06 newton rotating with a constant angular velocity omega <coughs> is applied on the disc the disc eventually acquires a steady motion on a circular path find the speed of the disc in its steady motion okay so let us consider the steady motion only so in the steady motion this in the circular motion if you draw the free body diagram of the small disc while standing on the disc so the velocity of the disc is in the tangential direction that means the frictional force will be in this direction the centrifugal force will be away from the center that r be the radius but here radius is not given so we will write it in the form of omega and v so that will be m into omega into v okay because r equals to v divided by omega <clears throat> and uh, for this circular motion and while i am standing on the mass the resultant of these two forces the centrifugal and this frictional force must balance the extra capital f that is the external capital f okay so f square must be equals to m omega v whole square <coughs> plus k v whole square so it will give you v square equals to f square divided by m square omega square plus k square so the speed at steady state will be m square omega square plus k square now we'll just put the values those are 0 0.06 divided by m is 100 gram that is 0.1 into 0 0.3 whole square plus 0 0.04 whole square so let me grab my calculator quickly <coughs> so answer will be 0 0.03 whole square plus 0 0.04 whole square root that be answer 1.2 so the speed in the steady state will be 1.2 meter per second okay so i hope you all have found this video very helpful thank you